<laughs> so the first the first vote of the day <laughs> is Pickle Rick playing Janna. Now I don't know about y'all, but Janna automatically makes me very nervous. Prediction does the Janna game put me to sleep on it. No, the prediction is thus, right? I feel like just predicting win or lose is too easy. So we're going to do something different. The prediction for this game, right? The prediction is, does Janna die five more than five times in this game? That's the prediction. Zent, take it away. You have until the end of runes to lock in, win or lose. Does Janna die five times or more? If she dies less than, you get away with it. What do you think, chat? You gonna you gonna gamble? You gonna gamble on it? That's it. You've got a you've got a 20, 26 minute game. What do you reckon? You reckon five five deaths in a twenty six minute game? More or less? Vote away. I'm gonna do the runes. All right. So Rick Mayo, this is a silver Janna game. We are going hard in the paint for the aggro build by the look of it. So we've got Arcade Comet, <clears throat> Mana Flow Band, Celerity, and Scorch, with secondaries, Eyeball Collection, and Relentless Hunter. Now, look, I'm I'm not judgy, right? I don't mind that you've gone for the for the pokey build, right? But I have something to say. Eyeball collection is not the way to go. Just purely because even if you are assisting as much as you'd like to be, it's still not enough to like make it over the line. So I would recommend as a general note to take either Taste of Blood or the other two other two like runes in this line. Purely because you'll get more value out of it generally if you are doing vision control for taking either of these, or at least you'll get some sustain if you take Taste of Blood. They're the things you want to be looking at. Okay? Okay. All right. Place your bets. Hey, it's full course. How you doing, man? I didn't get to see you, but Merry Christmas. And I hope you had a Happy New Year as well. Hope you're doing well. Place your bets, yo. Place your bets. Will Janna die more or less than five times? As you see, my brother. My brother. Hope you are doing well. Come get some. Thank you to Pocdezero for the 25 months. Whew. Nice. Big nice. Quarter of 100 smile. Nice. Nice. Thank you very much, Bokta. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You are Someone bet 2.7k points on Jenna dying five times or more. Christ. You have an awesome name for me. Don't. I'm scared now. What kind of name? What, what name is it? Predictions are closed. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> we, didn't you bring this? I swear you gave me this name at the beginning of the roast. When like that many years ago. What happens to the winners of the predict? Whoever wins gets all the channel points. I'm just going to fast forward into the actual game part. I told Santon he agrees. I swear to God you have told me this name before. Or someone told me this name before. I swear I've seen this name before. This guy likes to play aggressive Janna. But it is brand. This will be good. See, the thing about Janna is that, like... With Q and W spell, you should still go Q first because it does more. But, I mean, you go W if you're feeling daring. Now, the main thing here, right, is obviously it is against Brand, so you don't have to be nervous. But the good thing is that in general situations, Janna could still do quite a lot of damage early on. But against this, you have to dodge everything that he has to offer. You told Sent and he agrees. Sent. You can't, you can't, what's the word? What's the word? You can't enable him like this. That's what it is. It's enabling. With his horrible, horrible names. Alright. I think I said it was better than the other one. What was the <laughs> what was the other one? If I had known the team got beforehand, I would have changed my vote. It did say Janna vs. Brand at the beginning. Oh, I wait, you mean because of Kane. I get you. Sup, Azora. <laughs> 
Come get some. Who let you out, man? Thank you, Azora, for the 27 months. Hope you have a good day so far. I mean, full course is always a uh, a uh, shining light in my day. You think Brandon's going to waste the jam? A lot of people would believe that, yes. Honestly, I am never sure. I'm never sure when it comes to the roast anymore. That's why doing these predictions makes it even more funny. Easy start. Man, locked camera is not good for you. Especially when you're playing a ranged versus a ranged. You're not even going to see where he's coming from at this rate. Also, walking him just to purely do this poke is cool and all, but you gotta, you have to always be ready for a Come couple get of... Some. Ooh, is that another? Oh, no, I broke everything at the same time because I panicked about the noises. Thank you. Full course for the 18 months. Says at least it's not slop hole. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. It is monitor one. Okay, so the thing about this, right, is this range that you're, like, going to fight in, you have to be mindful that even at the edge of the range of Brand's spells, he can still almost always hit you, right? So you've got to be mindful of the range you're going to play into that, plus the auto range you're going to take on, because you don't have a lot of stats either or. So you've got to be very careful with this. Now, that said, you only want to go for this to get to level 2 as fast as possible if you are, like, coordinated enough to make this play work alongside Twitch. But generally, you got to be careful. Because against, yeah, Tumble Q and the damage from Brand is going to cut. I would be using the potions early as possible, really, just to make sure you can get to two and not get completely slandered. Thank you again, full course, for the 18 months. You rock. I feel kind of bad we didn't get another, uh, we didn't get a, a roundup for the year done because of COVID and shit. I do have to make up for that in the future somehow. We'll have to figure something out. Have you tried the game Hades? No, but I want to. It looks like such a great game. And I, I felt its pain at the at the Game Awards during the year. It was very, uh, very, very painful to watch it like fail out like that, bro. Playing lock camera like this is only going to ruin you because you can't see like where he's going and any the all the body language that Brand is like exhibiting position wise to try and fuck your day up. You are not in vision of that at all. That's why this looks so difficult for you. Plus, every time you see him cast a spell, you just walk backwards. Like, if you're already inside of it, you're going to get hit by it. It's not lock camera, it's hell camera. It's true, yeah. He's literally holding down that thing. The video game awards made me want to die. Yeah, look, I understand. I totally get it. But, uh, yeah. The Last of Us awards, the totally not bought out of it. Yeah, look. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure The Last of Us was a, a solid project, but I, I feel like Hades needed some, uh, needed some more love there than it deserved. So it's a mean day. It was all happening, huh? The IGN of the Game Awards. Yeah, look, you got me there. Now, this play wasn't so bad, but you just flashed directly into the... Oh, boy. I need you to just confirm something for me. If you did this entire trade pattern with your space bar held down, I don't know how to feel about this, bro. You're really, like, making this hard for yourself by just not being able to work around with your camera. And just to make things worse, like, this is a good trade, don't get me wrong, but you've been playing on the back foot this entire time, you finally wait for Brand to deplete most of his mana, but there was no reason to flash into the W. And you flash into the minion wave, into his combo, for no reason whatsoever. There was no chance you were going to kill Vayne without the ability to hit another spell on her, and you were not in range for it. You got one auto, that was it. Well, at least Hecarim might actually clean up on your behalf, but that doesn't make me feel better. That's the thing, like I look at the I look at the game awards and I think, yeah, it's about like, you know, your taste might be different than others, but I've really started to get the the, the gist that people were not feeling it. But yes, we got an early death. We're aiming for five. Will she get five?
Free death on Kane. Nice. I really don't get how you can play locked camera like this, bro. It was bad enough being locked camera generally before, but now you're holding the camera. Holding it. You're actually, like, expending energy and, like, and fingers to just hold this down to a point where you actually are going to suffer for it in the short term. That's free damage. I don't know why we're going for dragon when, like, none of you have the health to do it. That's a throw. <laughs> I don't understand why we just sat there and did the dragon, but no one pinged anything. This is the best part, right? Everyone's got this Captain Hindsight thing going on where they're not actually pinging anything else. They're just standing there trying to take the thing. So, instead of just actually actively, like, pinging to do so, no one has said a single thing prior up to this about the fact that there are people right there. Like... If you know this is going to happen, everyone should have peeled out from this ages ago. You especially. But you're not doing either. You're not saying shit. No one's doing anything about this. It just results in another death. Fuck it, hell. No one did anything. That's the best part. Everyone's blaming each other for doing nothing. It's like, dude, you all sucked. <laughs> no one did anything in that play. You can tell the jungler's losing it. There's like eight spaces between some of those words. The obvious thing you can't do anything about. <clears throat> like you're still level three dude because of like absolutely zero lane pressure at all and then he walked into the w again come on man you can't sit there with locked camera and not even pay attention to your surroundings this is murder this is actually murder if i'd have made it to how many skill shots will janna eat and have like everyone lose their minds about like trying to count this one up. Oh, he actually dodged sideways for the first time ever. First for everything. I was expecting him to just run backwards again like he did for the ninth time. Oh god, Twitch didn't get that cannon. Sweet lord. This is good timing here because the wave's in his tower and he can't come up to contest you taking that, which is good. You have a ward. You have a ward. You can put a ward in... You literally had a ward come up right as you were leaving. Try Come on, bro. That was what you needed. That's what you needed, bro. Oh, Ignite. Okay, I was looking at that like, how the hell you got that kill? But that was good. It was a good roam, nonetheless. <clears throat> Don't do it. Don't, just go the, the safe way. Okay, that's alright. Yes, okay. Honestly, in those situations where you see a jungler backing on a ward, you really should just let them go home so you can actually make people aware of the situation that, like, that he is at home and can't enact on it. Especially if you're bot lane. Like, if you want him to leave so that you can do things there, it's fine. If you want, like, to make space for topside to do things, fine. That works too. But you have to, like, commit to a decision there. <clears throat> It's something to like to note if you're a like a clash player or anything like that. That's when you look for it there. That went well. Like if you're gonna like stop his back because you just want to poke him, then like it doesn't make a lot of sense. But please just dodge. Look, dude, you just why would you walk into it again? Oh. Locked camera, still walking into skill shots, bro. I can't. You're gonna die here. Oh. Just 
the, the, the whole standing new minion waves and just cop and poke for free, dude. Bot has been pushed all game, just saying. I respectfully disagree. I respectfully disagree. Hmm. I don't agree with mobility here. It should be swiftness. Because you need the speed. You need the speed generally, not just uh, going to things. What did you lose in this ten minutes? You lost me. You lost me from end to end. That's what we lost. You know what? Credit where credit's due. I actually don't think I've ever seen, like, a Janna actually roam as well as that on two occasions there. That was actually pretty good. The problem is, you're so far behind on XP because of your absolutely abysmal lane phase from absolutely eating everything early on. If you could do all of what you're doing now... See, this is the thing. Like, you've always done well in the roaming department. Like, I've never had any issues with that. But the big part that's bugging me is everything else. It's really... Really bugging me. I got my because I knew the lane wasn't very good. G generally, you still want... You still always want to go swiftness, just purely because... Almost every situation in a team fight, you will want to still have the movement speed to get around. And it will be very... Uh, and still better money overall to buy for... Um, for swiftness. Just better generally. Because it always affects celerity as well. In every situation. Oh. Nice. That's... <laughs> Look, taking kills with Ignite is not bad. Seriously, it's not bad. It just happens. Swifties are, yeah, Swifties are cheaper, they're better overall in, in, in the slot, and they help in every aspect of the game, not just to go for it. Imagine all tapping while Bandit's right in front of you. That was a bit unfortunate. The alt tab was me, by the way. Not him. Because the screen's still on instead of the thing. I'm trying to fix it now. Just give me a hot second. If I do that, you won't see it anymore. I forgot to turn this, the, the chrome part back on. The alt tab is me trying to fix, like... I, I try to affix the screen every single time I, uh, I change to the, the pen. So it doesn't, it looks relatively seamless for you guys, but because I don't have a stream deck, I've actually got to do it manually every single time. So yeah. If I could figure out how to do that, like with a binding, it would be infinitely easier, but I don't have that right now. Sorry guys. I'm going to say, only the charged up thing is going to work there, but you don't have a shield for Jace because you're, dude, in a situation like this, if you're trying to clutch up here, I would really appreciate it if you unlocked your bloody camera so you could see, because your E is about to come up, and so is your W. You might actually be able to clutch this up if you are close enough. I get you have to play at range generally, but if you want to save the Jason, help him kill people here, this might be a good time to help out. Actually, quick thing, because I'm forgetful. No, that's fine. Probably should have gone. You might have needed to go MI into, into Brand, but it's fine. I also wonder if Ability Haze might be a useful thought, but I think everyone just goes throughput, generally. Either way, results in kills. Not sure that was worth it to go for the third tanking of that tower hit, but they were at three deaths, guys. Two deaths for the winner. I gave Twitch the kill and try not to die to your ass. I still think you could have run away from it if you left earlier. Either way, we got mandate. Everything's sorted now. Also, with the route Yasuo was taking, it wasn't going to kill you there. You were on the other side. You could have just backed a tower. He was in the he was red side jungle. Like he was not going to make it to you. No way.
People better. No, people bet. Uh, we bet. Winning, betting to win or lose is too easy. The bet is uh, five deaths or more. If uh, if you'd go over five deaths, people cash out. If you go under five deaths, you will uh, you will feel the love. Don't spoil it. Why? You could have run to the... Okay, you know what? I I've had enough of this. I've had enough of seeing this. So I'm just going to make this abundantly clear now. And this is for anyone that watches this against Brand. Keep note of the... like you Doing the whole movement in the small box is the smart thing to do, right? But the big thing that you're missing out on is the fact that you can actually run to the side when he actually does this. Because the moment you actually see him doing this cast, you change direction into the edge of the thing. If he kept running, you actually would have gotten out of that. You would have gotten out of it even easier if you had uh, Swifties. Unfortunately, Ulti has no throughput to actually get an early heal off there, which is unfortunate. But, yeah. It's fine. Wait, Vayne doesn't have a completed item, but Twitch does? Or did he just buy that? Janiskin is noisy. Yes, it is. I was late there. Yes, it was. I'd say, I don't think R has enough throughput for you to warrant using it that late. You have to use it as, er like, as early as possible if you've expended all your spells. Because your autos won't do a shitload, truthfully. Oh! If you eat yourself there, you would have killed him! If you eat yourself there, you would have killed him, and that would have been the sickest play ever. Fuck. And now I'm just sad. I'm just sad we got to witness that, and that didn't... Oh. I feel like he could have ignited uh, Yasuo there, too. Might have resulted in something. Or at the very least, would have put you guys in a good spot to kill him and turn on Kane, if that was the case. I was sad I didn't ignite Renek. If you shielded yourself, you would have killed him anyway. But if you ignite Yasuo in mid lane while you're both beating on him there, that's a kill too. That's the thing. There, there were two like very clear-cut ways to get that. <laughs> I was not expecting to do that much damage to Renek. I mean, he has no, he has no, um, he has no defensive stats. And you are like your Imperial Mandate Janna. Like, of course you hurt. That Grim defies all laws of physics, goes through the wall. Dude, he went like, fucking, he just zoomed right through that thing. It is a bit maddening that Twitch is blaming you. To be fair, you did walk into an absolute buttload of uh, CC, uh, Ws early on. Like, you walked into way too much poke early on. But, yeah. Fuck, and he just went for it. And then you just went and walked into it again. Why do you keep walking into that spell, man? <sighs> Every single death you've had this game has been avoidable. I'm actually just mad. I don't like going against Ben. And then ban it. Either, either stop locking your camera and walking into shit, or ban him out. Personally, I prefer you do the former because, truthfully, man, like, you, oh, every single death he was avoidable. But you don't pay attention. You stick, you sit there, like, you've still got your thumb pressed to your spacebar this entire game. Like, that's like 97% uptime on your spacebar. Bro, why? Just stop. Just unlock the camera and start moving with your camera, dude. Hello, some of none. Welcome. But yeah, in every situation when you play this out, you would be able to, like, do infinitely more if you just actually stop locking your camera, free up your fingers to do something else, and then just be able to dodge out of the shit that's going on. 
You actually just KS that with W. I don't care what anyone says. You held that for that long just to do that? I'm not 100% of the time looking at myself. They, well, I mean, your awareness has to, like, has to shape up if you want to do more here. Like, you can tap the space bar to lock it onto yourself during a fight, but you shouldn't be holding it this entire time. This is actually murder. Watching you play like this is, it's like locked in syndrome. You're just stuck here doing nothing with it. Doesn't give you any actual benefit. If I had Toby, I Toby eyes. As in an eye, the eye tracker. He's talking about Naruto. Wait, we're, we're weaving in my chat now. Is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on here? I'm talking about eye tracking. Look, if I had... I don't need eye tracking software to understand that you're not seeing shit that's coming at you. But you can't just say, I'm looking at the minimap. It's not as if you're literally, like... It's not as if you're just, like, plumb staring at the fucking minimap like this with blinders on going, Oh yeah, man, I can totally see the minimap and everything that's going on here. Can you see me, chat? I'm not sure. Janna W does damage, and it should be getting used at almost every cooldown. Ah, good shit. Like, what the fuck is that? That's literally just Imperial Mandate plus Comet. That's all it is. Is that an auto summon Rift Herald? Hecarim. If you put the E on someone, you might be able to help them live. Just saying. It's fine, though. I don't know where you're going, but it's not making a lot of sense to me. If you ward up the Baron path, it might be good. I don't even know where you're going. You just did a happy lap for no reason. I, I, all I can say right now is lol imperial mandate. It's all, it's all I can say here. I like how Jace was actually smart enough to back out of that fucking W as it was coming in. But yeah, it was time to reset like about maybe 45 seconds ago. So that objectives can be taken. Clearing blast, what seems okay. Not in the direction he was flying out though. It's Rec 9. It's Rec 9. Yes, it is. Hey, doing, Bull? <laughs> Support Maokai is like the virtual equivalent of getting sand in the eyes. <laughs> you really don't like Support Maokai, do you? <laughs> it'd be, I knew if I was going to start. You could have you could have backed like in that 45 second window you all were dicking around in mid, but this is going all right, all things considered. Brand's dead. You could probably still set up around Baron at least and then go home. Just put wards there and go home. Put, put the ward there and go home. <clears throat> Staff of flowing water puts out brand. <laughs> GG easy. 
Oh, hello, Renekton. Oh, bye, Kane. Didn't help you were standing inside the wind wall trying to cast a spell, but that's alright. I guess that's a free Baron now. They surrendered. Alright, cool. Four deaths! It was so close, yet so far. He had four deaths by the end. Fucking Pogarino. Man, what a what a strange game. I feel like all of that all of that could have just been avoided with just a few simple things. Oh. So yeah, we gotta go through the most obvious problems in this game, dude. For real. I I'm only met hey Death how you doing? Jenna do be a good supporter. It's true. So what is better, my Pike or Janna? Look, see, this is the thing, right? When you whether you play Pike or Janna, like you do the same things correctly, which is your roaming is great. It's never been a problem, right? You are there to assist in kills and you are helpful for it every time. But the big problem that you're just still exhibiting is that because you're playing so locked in with your camera, you keep walking into skill shots, man. You like literally threw out your lane phase. You actually kneecapped your lane phase that hard. That's problematic. Like, you can't... You can't just, like, throw that in like that and expect it to win out. It just will not work in your favor. I never had the plan to win versus... Ben. But you should at least come off better than you did by not dying in lane. Literally, so easy to avoid everything that you did in lane phase by just not flashing into everything Brand had. You flashed into Brand's W in front of a minion wave, got stunned in front of it, and then wondered why you died. I have nothing to say to you other than don't do that. If you do the complete opposite of that, Depokta lose points. Feels bad. Oh. I feel like this was a very like simple runoff that you could have could have taken taken into consideration early on in the lane. You, now, so just to, just so we have this right, like your kill participation and your roams were absolutely like spotless. It was great. It was good to do. It was good to do. But yeah. I, we're here to talk about what was wrong. Vision score was all right. Double double the minutes in the game. So that's perfect. It's what you want. You were all, you were basically everywhere. The only gripe I have with your vision score, actually, is there were two parts. There were two parts that were that, that two very, like, they're bit, a bit nitpicky, but you want you want perfection, I'll give you perfection. When you clear the, the pink ward in tri brush at about, like, early on, what time was it? Roughly before that massive Fakokta around Dragon, when you before you roamed to mid and got that kill, you actually had like a second before your ward was coming up and you actually forgot to ward it. That would have been like the greatest entry ward you needed just to make sure everything was fine, especially around Dragon not long after, because that would have been what you needed. The other one was you were dicking around in mid too long and not warding Baron. That was like the big thing. Like I want if if the game went any other way and there was like nothing that was changing at that point in time, you would have needed to have gone left the left the play way earlier and gone toward Baron. And you should have like you got to ping more to get people away from stupid shit. Like the if you you can't just captain hindsight the the whole oh we should have done X or why didn't we do this when you weren't actively like trying to move towards it. Like, turning away from Dragon to kill the Vayne and Brand. Or leaving mid lane to go ward Baron. At least the mid lane play, it resulted in you killing them again. Because they're idiots. But you know what? It, against smarter people, that would not go well. So you needed to reset earlier. About a minute earlier. And go ward Baron. And buy. Yeah, like 2k gold. But yeah. Other than that, this is a pretty solid game, truthfully. We have five control wards in a 25-minute game. Not bad. There was a moment where I could have believed you could have got an extra one, but even still, I'm actually not even that mad about it. This was pretty good. This was actually pretty solid.
all things considered, this was pretty solid. But yeah, just your whole lane phase, just you just got to overhaul the the locked camera and the walking into skill shots. Just please, please make life easier for all of us and just stop walking into shit. I can't even like, I can't even begin to tell you why that hurts me internally. I don't leave my lock camera is my baby skill. I'll give you a baby skill. I don't leave my lock camera, he says. Fucking. You fucking watch yourself. The paper's coming for you. But yeah, solid showing overall, mate. Well done. Try and do that again without the bad lane phase and you will be cruising towards the top. Thank you again, Mr. Rick Mayo for the video.